Exotic reptiles are already pretty fascinating, but a few are so rare that even scientists are left scratching their heads in disbelief. These reptiles don't just look unusual. They sometimes act in ways we still can't fully explain or dwell in regions that are incredibly difficult to access. Hearing about these strange species feels like witnessing one of nature's own sleight-of-hand tricks. So let's dive into a lineup of exotic reptiles so baffling, even scientists are still trying to make sense of them. Number 15. Spiny Bush Viper When people say they hate snakes, this is probably the mental image they're pulling from. This is called the Spiny Bush Viper, a serpent that looks like it escaped a fantasy horror film and decided the treetops were home. But the good news, you'll likely never come across one. These venomous beauties hide deep inside the African rainforests, particularly around Congo, Uganda, and Kenya. They're small, just 18 to 23 inches long, but their size doesn't downplay their venom. Their bite hits hard. What really sets them apart, though, is their appearance. These snakes don't just have scales, they have jagged spikes that shoot out in all directions, like someone gave them a punk rock makeover. Seriously, they look like a snake dressed for a heavy metal concert. Despite being motionless most of the time, they're expert climbers. You won't even see them coming. And we don't really know how many exist, since they live far from human zones. So, yeah, awesome to look at, but best admired from photographs. Number 14. Dragon Moray Eel if you've ever wished to see an eel that looks like it escaped from a space jail, meet the dragon moray eel. This isn't your average ocean noodle. It's dramatic. Bold patches of white, yellow, orange, and deep brown, like someone handed a kid a paintbrush and said, go wild. But here's the trick. You likely won't spot one, not because they're rare, but because they're super reclusive. Dragon morays are extremely shy. They hide in rocky crevices during the day and only come out at night. Underwater introverts, basically. Spotting one in daylight means you're staring into a rocky hole, hoping for a glimpse. Why all the secrecy? Well, bigger predators love snacking on colorful eels. But don't be fooled by their glam. They bite. Their teeth are sharp, thin, pointed, and absolutely not soft. They can grow up to 31 inches, which isn't monstrous, but they leave an impression. Flashy on the outside, fangs on the inside. If you see one, count yourself lucky. Number 13. Alligator Snapping Turtle When you think of turtles, your brain probably flashes to those slow, mellow creatures just going about their business. Worst case, you pick one up and it pees on your hand. Fair. But not all turtles are that cute or harmless. Some are just downright aggressive. Exhibit A, the alligator snapping turtle. This isn't your garden variety pond floater. This thing looks like a prehistoric beast stuffed into a turtle shell. Jagged ridges, brutal beak, and a stare that basically dares you to test it. Don't, just don't. Why? Because this turtle's bite is something else. It can snap down with a force reportedly near 1,000 pounds. That's strong enough to obliterate bone like it's a corn chip. And it's not just strong, it's a sneaky killer. It wiggles its tongue like bait to lure fish. One wrong nibble and snap, game over. While most turtles are docile little salad munchers, this one's a prehistoric landmine. Admire it from afar. Treat it like you would a moody grizzly. Number 12. Snake-necked turtle. Let's not overcomplicate this. Yes, the snake-necked turtle is named exactly for what it is. A turtle with a neck that looks ridiculously long, almost like a reptilian swan. Specifically, the eastern snake-necked turtle is one of nature's oddest combos. Imagine a regular turtle, now stretch its neck out so far that it has to bend it sideways to fit into its shell. That's the vibe. It's got a shell about 10 inches wide and can live up to 50 years, so it's in no rush. But here's the wild part. It stinks. When threatened, it sprays a foul-smelling musk that travels up to three feet. It's not a cute you smell either. It's a full-on, please-leave-me-alone-forever stench. 
This is its built-in anti-predator spray, and it works. So now you've got a turtle that looks like a snake and defends itself like a skunk. It's weird, it's ancient, and it is absolutely one of nature's stranger reptilian mashups. Number 11, Madagascar Big-Headed Turtle. Everyone loves turtles. They're basically the wise old men of the reptile world, slow, ancient, and unbothered. But one of the rarest of the bunch is this one. And yes, the name fits. It's got a huge head for its body, but somehow still manages to look kind of adorable, like a turtle-shaped bobblehead. This species hasn't changed much in millions of years. Evolution basically gave it a pass. But humans haven't. Despite being critically endangered, they're still captured illegally, for food, traditional medicine, or the exotic pet trade. Because of that, seeing one in the wild is extremely rare. They live in freshwater rivers and streams, but their numbers are dwindling fast. Turtles have existed for over 250 million years, and this one's hanging on by a thread. Even people who don't care much about reptiles would feel something seeing it. The oversized head might look odd, but this turtle? It deserves to survive and live out its grandpa life in peace. Number 10, Dragon Snake. You've probably seen a lizard that kind of resembles a dragon. Cool, right? Now meet the dragon snake, a real snake that genuinely looks like it slithered out of a fantasy game. One glance and it lives up to the title. Its entire body is coated in rough, jagged scales layered in a way that screams medieval chainmail. It's got that armored reptilian look like it should be guarding treasure under a bridge. But don't get it twisted. This thing isn't dangerous. The dragon snake is totally non-venomous. Sure, it can hunt smaller prey, but it's no fang-loaded terror waiting to pounce. Here's where it gets weird, and kind of hilarious. If you grab one without warning, don't. It instantly stiffens up, locks in place, total freeze mode, like it's playing dead in a snake soap opera. It's basically the reptile version of Nope. So yeah, it may have the dragon aesthetics, but the dragon snake is more about drama than danger. Number 9. Pygmy Chameleon Well, if pygmy is in the name, it's probably going to be cute. And the pygmy chameleon? Total cuteness overload. Also called the Ramfolian, it's the tiniest and sadly, one of the most endangered chameleons in the world. Native to East Africa, its habitat has been disappearing fast. So fast, in fact, that scientists aren't sure if it even still exists in the wild. These little guys aren't picky about where they live. Forests, woodlands, savannas, even highlands. As long as there are trees, they're good. But that also makes them incredibly hard to find. They're tiny, well camouflaged, and built for hide and seek. And they do all the classic chameleon stuff. Color shifting, tongue shooting, and being sneaky little jungle ghosts. What makes them stand out is how rare they are. Or maybe were. No one really knows how many are left. Somewhere in the forests of East Africa, maybe one's still out there clinging to a branch. Fingers crossed for the tiny legend. Number 8. Blind Snake History proves being blind doesn't mean being helpless. Case in point, the blind snake. This tiny underground reptile is often mistaken for an earthworm. And honestly, it's easy to see why especially the Brahmini blind snake, one of about 46 blind snake species in Australia. These smooth, worm-like snakes dart through soil, using their tongues like radar to hunt ants and termites, basically, their entire diet. When they find an insect nest, they tunnel in and go to town. They don't bite, don't have venom, and don't pack any real defense, except for the fact they're so small and squirmy, predators often miss them but they still end up on the menu for owls, foxes, birds, and even other snakes. Life underground isn't easy, but blind snakes make it work. Despite being harmless and weirdly fascinating, they remain overlooked by most. So this little reptile might look like a worm, be blind as a bat, and live in the dirt, but it's still out here doing its thing. Number 7. Frilled Dragon
Most exotic reptiles are great at hiding, but not the frilled dragon. This flashy lizard from Australia is hard to miss if you catch it in the act. Think Jurassic vibes. Its name comes from the massive fan-shaped frill that unfolds around its neck. When relaxed, the frill lies flat. But when threatened, it flares open like a prehistoric umbrella, making the dragon look twice its size. The whole thing is equal parts intimidation and theater. These reptiles can grow up to 33 inches long, with the frill alone reaching nearly a foot wide. They spend most of their time clinging to trees, pressing their bodies flat and staying still, just enough to blend in while still keeping an eye on everything. If a threat gets too close, they won't hesitate to sprint off on two legs like little dinosaurs. They're not venomous or aggressive toward humans, but if you're a small insect, you're fair game. Number 6. Chinese Water Dragon This reptile is one of those creatures that makes you stop and wonder, how many names does it need? Most know it as the Chinese Water Dragon, but you'll also hear Asian Water Dragon, Thai Water Dragon, or just Green Water Dragon. Bottom line, it's green, loves water, and lives in Asia. The rest? A naming mess. These mid-sized lizards aren't basic by any stretch. Some are bright green, some darker, others with purple tones or faint striping. Like nature gave each one a custom palette, no two look exactly the same, which kind of makes them even cooler. But one thing they all agree on, water is their comfort zone. You'll usually spot them near rivers, lakes, or streams throughout southern and southeastern Asia. Here's the twist. Even though they love water, they don't spend most of their time swimming. They chill in trees or on land until they sense danger. Then it's straight into the water like a mini scaly submarine. They are cute. Number five, Thorny Devil. Let's be real. Thorny Devil sounds like a metal band, not an actual lizard. But it's very real, and it lives up to that name. This spiky Australian reptile is completely armored in sharp horn-like protrusions from head to tail. Those spikes aren't for show, they're its first line of defense, and when that's not enough, it's got a backup. It puffs up with air to appear bigger and harder to swallow. Think of it as the home alone of reptiles, always ready with a defense plan. Despite its intimidating appearance, it's harmless to humans, unless you're an ant, because that's all it eats. No dramatic hunts, just endless ant munching, thousands per day. It doesn't do well in captivity and is picky about its environment, but in the wild, it's a survival genius. It blends in with desert sands and relies on its super strange thorny armor to keep predators at bay. Number four, Crested Gecko. If reptiles make you nervous, you might want to skip this one. But if you're still here, meet the Crested Gecko, one of the most unique looking reptiles out there. People also call it the eyelash gecko, thanks to the raised ridges above its eyes that kind of resemble lashes. Of course, geckos don't have eyelids, so these are just for flair. Instead of blinking, they clean their eyes by licking them. Yep, tongue straight to eyeball. What makes crested geckos extra special is how no two look alike. Every single one has its own mix of colors and patterns, like nature's own designer collection. For a while, Scientists actually believed these geckos were extinct, until 1994, when they were rediscovered after a tropical storm in New Caledonia. But now, they face another threat, electric ants. These tiny invasive insects are destroying gecko habitats. So even with their comeback story, crested geckos are still in danger. They're wild, weird, and completely unforgettable. Number three. Agama. This lizard is one of Africa's most resilient and widely spread reptiles. These super tough little survivors can be found across nearly every part of the continent. Originally, Agamas preferred shaded forests, digging into cool sand to avoid the harsh sun. But as those forests started vanishing, they didn't quit. They adapted. Now, they thrive everywhere from rugged mountain slopes and dry desert flats to rural villages and even city alleys. The average agama grows up to 15.7 inches long, 
but it's their color-shifting game that really grabs attention. Males put on a bold display when they feel dominant, flashing bright blues, reds, and oranges. But when they're lower in rank, the colors fade. Females usually stay in muted greens or browns. These lizards settle disputes through physical showdowns, and their colors shift depending on who's winning. Some keep them as pets, but for most people, seeing one dart across a sun-baked wall is enough. They're bold, adaptable, and never afraid to show off. We love to keep one as a pet. Number two, red-eyed crocodile skink. If there's one reptile that looks like it was designed for animation, it's the red-eyed crocodile skink. Tiny, moody, and straight-up cinematic, this lizard comes with bold red rings around its eyes that make it look intense or adorable, depending on how you feel about reptiles. Despite the name, it's not a crocodile, obviously. But its back is covered in raised scales that give off mini crocodile vibes. Native to Papua New Guinea, these skinks prefer humid rainforests and stay hidden most of the time. They're crepuscular, which means you'll catch them moving around during early morning and late afternoon. Only about 8 to 10 centimeters long, they're easy to miss unless you're really looking. Even though they've become a favorite in the exotic pet world, they aren't the cuddly type. Try to handle one, and it'll either squeak loudly or fake its own death. No joke, it just collapses like it gave up on life. Stylish, sneaky, and dramatic. Number 1. Tokei Gecko You probably never sat around asking, do any reptiles look like they belong in a cartoon? But if you had, the answer's yes. Meet the Tokei Gecko. This little lizard looks straight out of an animation. Its bluish-gray skin is covered in vibrant orange spots, like nature gave it polka dot pajamas. It looks adorable, until it opens its mouth. Tokays aren't huge, usually 10 to 12 inches long, though some reach up to 14. Native to Southeast Asia, they've spread far beyond their home turf. You'll now find them in places like Florida, Martinique, Belize, and possibly Hawaii. Basically, anywhere hot and leafy is prime real estate. But here's the surprise. These geckos don't just hang out in the wild. They love sneaking into homes, crawling across ceilings and walls like it's normal. Imagine waking up to find one staring down at you. They might look cute, but they're bold, noisy, and surprisingly aggressive for their size. If you found this video fascinating, please like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in with us, and we'll catch you later. And we'll catch you later.